in such an organization like this, we're thankful for the calling of Father Greg's life, that we have a place here where those of us with simple, humble, and broken beginnings can have renewed strength, and for the devotion of all those that are encamped around Father Greg, who make this place possible, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, in your name, amen. 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 I was the youngest pastor in the history of the archdiocese, so I, which is to say I didn't know what I was doing. And as luck would have it, they needed a pastor at Dolores Mission, which was the poorest parish in the city. Yeah, but in the early days that, you know, we were just listening to gang members who said a job would help. It would infuse hope to kids for whom hope was foreign. We discovered years later that it, we needed more than just employment. We needed people to have essential healing. So, so we've been around for 30 years. You know, the first 10 years were a lot of hostility, death threats, bomb threats, hate mail. Not from gang members, but from folks who took exception to us. The world that says there's an us and a them, we say, no, there's only us. And, and so no kinship, no peace, no kinship, no justice no kinship, no equality. So peace, justice, and equality become byproducts of our kinship. You know, work for kinship and watch what happens. For me, he's like an earthly father, you know? You know, I feel good every morning when he says, you know, good morning, and he calls me by my name. I'm like that. I mean, to me, he's a saint. I love you, Pastor. I love you too, Michael. Thank you. Boy, that was, uh, that made my day today. I love you, Jesus. I love you too, Michael. You take care of yourself, okay? Right. Homeboy Industries is, um, is meant to help the broken, you know, the people that struggle, and um, like someone like me. You staying away from a certain neighborhood? But, um, no, I mean a certain neighborhood. Yeah, no, I'm Do you know what I mean by a certain neighborhood? Yeah, I'm staying away. Fifteen months ago, my brother was murdered. I didn't know if I would make the right decisions. I pretty much wanted to give up. And Father G told me when I'd ask my brother that death would be my greatest teacher. And I was kind of clueless as to what he meant, but today I think I get it. I had to find peace within myself. And without being here, I wouldn't have been able to do it. If somebody asked me once, how do you reach them? And I, I said, well, for starters, Stop trying to reach them. Can you be reached by them? I think like with, with Jay, it's, it's amazing because he believes in you. Like you, you know that. He believes in you until you believe in yourself. Like he'll love you until you begin to love yourself. And then I discovered no amount of me wanting that guy to have a life is the same as that guy wanting to have one. So you do what you can and you love being loving. And uh, that's all you can do and you shine the flashlight on the light switch, but only he can turn that light switch on. So you don't go to the margins to rescue anybody, but go figure, if we all go to the margins, everybody gets rescued, it's kind of how it works.